Hello, good evening. I'm your host, Dorothy. Welcome to Egg Donation Friends webinar number nine. Uh, today's topic is um, surrogacy in Ukraine, how to start. Today's presenter is Katarina Sokolowska, a medical coordinator from Intersona IVF Clinic from Ukraine. Uh, the presentation will last about 25-30 minutes, then the Q&A session will follow. Uh, to all our viewers, if you want to ask a question, please, please click on the grey question mark and type your question. If you type a comment, please do not mark it as a question. All the questions will be answered by our expert after the presentation. Uh, the webinar is being recorded and you will be able to view it on our website. We will also publish a, a transcript with all the questions and answers. Uh, Katarina, good evening. How are you? Uh, hi, Dorothy. Um, hello, everyone. Yeah, it's great to see um, the interest to our topic. Uh, it's been really hot and I will be glad to answer all your questions and share my experience and my knowledge on the topic. So, let us start. Yes, let's start. Uh, such uh, assisted reproductive technology methods uh, as gamete donation, surrogacy and PGD, PGS testing are uh, legally regulated in Ukraine. Uh, according to the Order 787 of Ministry of Health of Ukraine, uh, egg and semen donation as well as embryo donation are allowed. Uh, same is said about surrogacy and PGS, PGS PGD. Uh, for each of these methods, uh, there is a list of medical indications and requirements. It is stated that egg and semen donors can be identifiable. Uh, in special cases, surrogacy can be used only by married heterosexual couples in which a woman has medical indications to such type of treatment. There is no limited number of attempts in the treatment programs. As um, maybe um, someone probably know that Ukraine is one of the few countries friendly to surrogacy. Um, the rights and duties of the parents are protected by law, as according to Ukrainian family code, the surrogate has no rights for the child due to having no gen genetic connection with it. Uh, the legal position of uh, surrogacy in Ukraine is based on the family code of Ukraine that states uh, that the parents of the child born by surrogate mother is the married couple whose gametes were used to create an embryo for the transfer. A surrogate mother has no rights for the baby, so she's not giving them, them up. Instead, uh, she signs her consent for the couple to be registered as the parents of the child. So, to sum up, uh, Ukraine is one of the biggest centers of surrogacy worldwide at the moment, and that is why. First of all, the parents are protected from the legal point of view. The whole program is regulated by Ministry of Health and Family Code of Ukraine. The costs of the program are half lower comparing to, for example, USA, Canada or Australia clinics, while the quality is compared to the best clinics uh, worldwide. Uh, the comfortable location, uh, easy to get from all over the Europe. Apart from that, Ukraine is a beautiful country with interesting traditions and millions of tourist attractions. So the time while you will be waiting for your precious baby to be born in any sense can be called boring. Uh, and what is last but not the least, uh, no visa is required for most of the U European countries, also USA, Canada, Commonwealth of Independent States and Scandinavian countries. As you can see, uh, the flights costs are very uh, favorable. Uh, and now when uh, famous low-cost airlines Ryanair entered Ukraine, the prices will be even more affordable. Uh, all these facts, all these above-mentioned facts, uh, make Ukraine a great destination for the people uh, seeking surrogacy to become uh, parents.
Intersona IVF clinic works with surrogacy program uh, since 2005. This program is conducted uh, along with charity foundation Life for Life. Uh, since that time, we performed 523 cycles and witnessed birth of 372 children. Uh, our oldest boy will be 11 years old this May. We offer a great choice of the surrogate mothers, uh, legal support of the experienced surrogacy lawyer and birth certificate of the child with the parent's name on it. Uh, hello, Before. Katarina. Can I can I stop you for a moment? I'm sorry. Yeah, sure. Uh, yes, I think the questions and answers mode uh, is not uh, enabled, so I wanted to turn it on again. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, so I can do it now. Sure. Okay, and we are back to presentation. Now it's okay. Mm -hmm. You can continue. Sorry for that. Yeah. 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 No problem. Uh, so, before uh, you can start the program, we will need to make sure that you are officially married couple. Most of the country's residents uh, will need to provide a postal on the marriage certificate. The reason for using surrogacy should be confirmed by the fertility specialist, uh, either your treating doctor or one of our doctors. We offer uh, four types of the surrogacy packages at Intersona. Uh, firstly is the surrogacy with the use of own oocytes. In this case, intended mother will need to provide the test results. Uh, main of them is the AMH level uh, and sonogram of ovaries with the follicle count and also a number of other tests uh, which will allow the doctor to choose the best stimulation plan. Uh, by the way, this stimulation can be started in home country and the couple will need to go uh, to Intersona only before egg collection. Uh, second is surrogacy program with the use of donor eggs. Uh, the intended parents will be able to choose the donor from our online database uh, that counts around 450 donors of various phenotypes. Uh, in order to get free access to the database, you will need to contact um, our uh, clinic via email, Skype or telephone and indicate that you are interested in donor uh, catalog. Uh, third program is a surrogacy with the use of frozen embryos. We can uh, use uh, the embryos from previous treatment cycles that were not used previously and were frozen, um, both uh, those stored at Intersono or other clinics. In order to transport your embryos safely to our clinic, our courier department is ready to help you. And our special guarantee 100% uh, childbirth program. It covers no matter how many treatment cycles until pregnancy achievement and healthy childbirth. Available uh, for egg donation cycles, so the people interested in own stimulation unfortunately, uh, unfortunately do not apply for this program and uh, the semen parameters should meet certain requirements. Uh, total mortal count uh, over 5 million of mortal sperm, uh, more than 5% of morphologically normal sperm, normal range of DNA fragmentation, and uh, these tests uh, should be done less than 3 months before the fertilization. In order to receive more information, you will need to contact our coordinators via website. Each of the mentioned surrogacy programs will cover uh, surrogate screening and selection, also advice of the doctor regarding choice if needed, package of medications in order to prepare the surrogate for embryo transfer, a whole IVF cycle either on own or donor eggs or on frozen embryos, a chorionic gonadotropin test, medications of the pregnancy preserving therapy until week 12, genetic tests PRISCA1 and PRISCA2 performed to calculate the risks of the fetus to such genetic disorders as Down syndrome, Patel syndrome, Edwards syndrome and defects of neural tube. 
pregnancy screening during all the term performed by the specialist of Intersona IVF clinic, organizing of the childbirth in one of the Lviv maternity hospitals, and obtaining Ukrainian birth certificate where uh, intended parents are listed as the parents of the baby. Our legal team is working with different countries and helps you to uh, clarify all the details of the contract and charity program before you start. Uh, they also provide legal support during pregnancy. After uh, the child is born, in case of need, they are also preparing the documents for the go home package. This is the list of the documents required by your embassy in order to obtain passport or emergency travel document for the baby. If it is needed, our lawyer will also accompany you to your uh, embassy. Here we can see how basically Ukrainian birth certificate looks like. Uh, there is no information about surrogate, only uh, the names of the intended parents. And this is the base for all further legal actions uh, in the process of legalization of your baby in the home country. So there are uh, a number of stages uh, of whole program. In order to start, uh, you will need to contact and meet your personal coordinator and fill in the patient form. Next, you will need to choose which program you are up to, on own, on donor eggs, on frozen embryos, or maybe the guarantee package. Uh, later, you sign the agreement and pay a first stage of the program. We recommend to consult with the lawyer in case of any of the documents are not understandable. After that, we will offer you with the surrogate's profiles. As soon as the candidate is confirmed, the doctor will plan her stimulation. Simultaneously, the intended mother or egg donor are prepared. We provide financial, medical, psychological and organizational support for our surrogate mothers during all the course of pregnancy. Pregnancy screening starts after the first scan at six weeks of pregnancy and lasts up to the very childbirth. Our specialists control each aspect of health of the pregnant surrogate in order to ensure your future baby the best environment ever. At the day of childbirth, you can come to the hospital to visit the baby after delivery. Uh, he or she will be staying in the neonatology department. After the baby is born and birth certificate is ready, the legal team starts preparation of the go-home package in order to get you home as soon as possible. So, our surrogate, who is she? Uh, this is the woman aged between 18 and 36 years old. She is uh, for sure mother on her own. Normally, our surrogate mothers have minimum two, three children. They are physically and mentally healthy. They have no bad habits. We are checking it with special tests. And what is important, uh, the woman is understanding her role and her responsibilities in the program. Some of the women uh, have already been surrogates before and they decide to uh, do it once again for different reasons. Um, before the surrogate can be offered to intended parents, uh, she must undergo a vast number of tests and examinations uh, to ensure her health condition. So we are checking her for critical infections, uh, we are checking uh, a number of times uh, the pelvic ultrasound, ultrasound of mammary glands, steroid gland and internal organs. Uh, of course, we are checking her hormones, uh, prolactin and uh, thyroid hormones. Uh, she must undergo gynecologist examination, vaginal swab, pap smear. We are checking her for touch infections, urea plasma, mycoplasma, tetomegalovirus, herpes, toxoplasma and chlamydia. Uh, general tests as uh, blood morphology, biochemia, and colgogram. Uh, she um, undergoes a number of times of uh, psychologist consultations, uh, endocrinologist examination. Um, finally, she will need to undergo the uh, consultation of the therapist and EC, uh, electrocardiography. And also she needs to provide the result of fluorography. Uh, 
Uh, each couple of intended parents and their surrogate mother have their personal coordinator who helps the surrogate with scheduling the visiting, visits and uh, reminding about them, provides all the medications uh, that were recommended by the doctors, uh, controls and supports the surrogate, uh, helps in organizing her accommodation in Lviv after 20th week of pregnancy, uh, sends the parents uh, the videos and photos from the scans as well as ultrasound reports and an examination results. And also uh, the coordinator arranges uh, Skype conferences and personal meetings of the parents with the surrogate uh, during the course of pregnancy. Uh, thanks to modern ultrasound scanners and our experienced doctors, uh, we are so glad when you meet your baby even before it is born. And so, the big day is here and we are there to organize hospitalization, provide all necessary medications for the surrogate, uh, contact with uh, obstetrician gynecologist and uh, pediatrician neonatologist uh, at the hospital and also the rest of the medical staff to provide the surrogate, the baby and of course the parents with all the support after birth. Uh, in case of natural delivery, the surrogate and the child are discharged in three days after delivery and in case of C-section, they need to stay longer, up to six, seven days. Uh, they are not staying together. The, stir the surrogate stays in postnatal department and the baby is in neonatology in hands of head of the department, the doctor with 30 years experience. Uh, she's always there in order to answer the questions about the state of health and uh, details of baby care. Uh, after the baby is discharged, we are helping to find a nanny, book a baby crib, a car seat, whatever will be needed for you. Uh, the, uh, the team of pediatricians at Intersona is also available in case if you would like to come and check your baby. So uh, I was already I was already mentioning the go home package. What is that? Uh, it is provided by our legal team, and it includes uh, legal advice after the child obtains the birth certificate and the program is finished. Uh, it also covers preparation of the documents required by embassy in order to get passport or emergency travel document. Uh, in case of need, uh, our lawyer will be able to go to you to Kiev to the embassy. Um, also specific additional services as apostolization, translation, notarization of uh, certain documents. And what is very important for certain countries is that our lawyer uh, is cooperating with your lawyers in the process of confirmation or recognition of parental rights and other procedures of naturalization of the new citizen in your country of residence after you already got back home. Intersona IVF clinic is located in Lviv, the city in western Ukraine, a cultural capital of the city with rich historical cultural traditions, with easy flight connections to European countries and only 70 kilometers from Polish-Ukrainian border. We operate for more than 15 years and help childless couples to give birth to more than 10,000 babies, if we are speaking in general. We are specializing in IVF treatment, egg donation, surrogacy, embryo vitrification and many more infertility tests and treatments. And uh, we are constantly helping people to experience the joy of parenthood. Here are some facts why uh, you should consider of choosing Intersona IVF clinic. We are the part of medical Medicover Fertility Family, a network of IVF clinics and medical centers in Europe with excellent reputation and large experience. We are fully certified clinic. Uh, we have uh, DQS certification and IQNet International Organization for Standardization. Uh, ISO 9001 2008 quality standard certificate. Uh, 
uh, one of the main reasons for excellent result is our brand new embryology laboratory. laboratory. And egg donation and surrogacy are absolutely legal and uh, intended parents are protected by law. At Intersona Egg Bank, we offer to choose among uh, 450 donors with proven uh, fertility results and different phenotypes. 100% uh, guarantee pregnancy program is available not only for the patients in need of surrogacy, but also to general IVF patients. Our trained and skilled and multilingual, which is important coordinator, will take care of you 24 hours per seven. Uh, we also offer uh, one visit treatment, uh, medical courier service and patient accommodation service. We are with you 365 days per year, 7 days per week and 24 hours per day. Our clinical uh, results, uh, clinical pregnancy rates speak for themselves. In egg donation cycles, we have statistics of 87% of clinical pregnancy rate. Uh, in IVF cycles on all sites, it is 73% of clinical pregnancy rate. And in uh, frozen cycles, we have 59% of clinical pregnancy rate. Uh, at Intersono, you will always meet understanding and uh, exceeding your expectation is our standard. We are glad to be part of your journey to the dream. Thanks a lot. Now I will be glad to answer all your questions. Thank you very much, Katerina. Uh, it was a very nice presentation. And Thank now you. we can uh, start questions and answers session. Mm -hmm. OK, we have a few right. questions. OK. Let us start. The first question. So you cannot help gay couples, is that correct? Because their infertility is considered social infertility, not medical infertility. Or do you have a way to offer surrogacy to gay couples? Thank you. Uh, thank you, Lisa, for the question. Uh, we cannot help gay couples, uh, unfortunately, as soon as uh, the requirements of the legal uh, side of the program is that the couple should be heterosexual. Okay, so I understand that it is simply not legal in Ukraine yes. to do surrogacy. Yes, absolutely for... true. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is the genetic link to the child mandatory? Is there an option to be a parent without genetic link? Uh, in case of surrogacy, yes, the genetic link is required by law. So at least one of the parents need to be uh, linked. Uh, it can be either mother or father. In case uh, you want to be a parent without genetic link, uh, you can use uh, adopted embryos, but you need to transfer it to you. Thank you. Is there a possibility to be intended parent when you are a widow or a single mother? Mm, unfortunately, no, not in Ukraine. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, is the intensive care included in the package in case of premature birth or other situation? Uh, at the moment, uh, not, but uh, we are working with our insurance company in order to create a special package which will um, cover uh, the surrogate mother and also the newly born child. Okay, thank you. Uh, is the emergency hospitalization for the surrogate mother included in the price in every package? Uh, there is uh, um, 
a certain amount of money uh, that is uh, into every package that uh, covers the emergency hospitalization for the surrogate. Okay, thank you. Next question. In case uh, there is a confirmed severe illness of the child prior to birth, what is the procedure? Does it happen at all? Is it possible? Uh, yes, for sure, it can happen. And uh, the procedure is that, um, firstly, all the tests, uh, non-invasive, should be done in order to uh, confirm such such illness. Uh, I, I suppose that Ella is uh, speaking about the genetic abnormalities, for example, Down syndrome or something. So in order to confirm this um, illness, uh, the PRISCA-1 and PRISCA-2 tests are um, performed. In case they're both positive, then uh, the doctor recommends to uh, perform the amniocentesis. It is an uh, invasive test, but it gives us 99.9% .9 of uh, being sure about this um, this illness and also if it also shows the uh, possibility of this illness then uh, the parents are deciding whether they would like to uh, proceed with this pregnancy or they would like to abort it and in case they would like to abort it they uh, we, we can do it until a week 22 Okay, thank you. Uh, Doris is asking about the pricing. Uh, it depends upon which uh, program um, she she's interested. So okay, there are so, four, yeah. four programs. Uh, so uh, if if she will be if it will be possible that uh, she will clarify the question. So I will, I will be happy to help. Okay, Doris, if you want to ask about a specific program, uh, we, we can ask Katerina later on. Uh, okay. What are the surrogate mothers feeling when they give the baby? When they give the baby away, I think uh, mm -hmm. Gregor means. Yeah, I understand. Uh, so um, our psychologists uh, claim not once that... Um, they are thinking about their own children. So they are doing surrogacy in order, mostly in order to provide some special conditions, some special uh, improvement of conditions for their own children. So I, I've been not to, um, not to, um, I mean, uh, to, to a big number of uh, deliveries and right after delivery, uh, they are mostly thinking and speaking about their own children. Okay, thank you. Question from Lisa. What type of translation services do you have so foreigners can speak to their Ukrainian surrogate in English or perhaps in their native language? depending on language, but of course we will be um, offering the native language translator. Okay, so I understand that all your surrogates are Ukrainian, is that correct? Yes, exactly, yes. exactly. Okay. So there will be some interpreter translator available for the patients, for intended parents? Yes, uh, most of our um, coordinators, they speak different languages, Polish, uh, French, um, Spanish, Chinese, English, of course, German. So in case uh, there are there is some need of some um, not not so wide language, then we will be just uh, ordering a translator from the agency. Fantastic. Thank you. Is it possible to know the surrogate mother better or even her family? Now, we offer uh, the possibility to meet with the surrogate in case if she agrees, she also can bring her, her husband, her children. Sometimes it also happens, yeah. Thank you. Um, do you know if the nationality 
is from the intended father or mother. I'm Australian and my husband is German. We would be using an egg donor and my husband's sperm. Thanks. I'm not sure about the question. Um, I understand that. Yeah, okay. I understand. Yeah, so the uh, nationality of the child is identified by the father. So in case if your husband is German, we will be uh, using the uh, German embassy in order to get the passport for the baby. Okay, thank you. What's the time frame of the process uh, from the starting point to the point that we are allowed to leave Ukraine? with a newborn baby? Mm, uh, in order to start, we will need a couple of months. Uh, so the, um, when you are signing the documents and paying first stage of the program, we will need around one month in order to uh, prepare a surrogate that will be confirmed by the doctor. Of course, that some time will be needed until you will uh, consider whether you would like to work with her or not, or you would like to choose someone else. Uh, then uh, the medical side comes up, uh, so the um, synchronization of the uh, cycles of the intended mother or um, egg donor, uh, it also take, uh, takes around one month, nine months of pregnancy, together it's 11, and around one one to two, three months, uh, depending upon uh, the country of residence, because different countries have uh, different lengths of legal process after the child is born. Normally, uh, none of our patients are staying in uh, Ukraine longer than one and a half, two months. But it depends, as you understand. Thank you. Next question. Uh, in which language uh, the contracts with the clinic are written, Ukrainian or Russian? Are we provided also an English version? All the contracts are um, in double version, Ukrainian English. Fantastic. What is the average delay to find a surrogate mother and then to start the program? Yeah, as I mentioned, uh, we will need around one month in order to provide us the surrogate's profile and then around one month in order to synchronize her cycle to start the program. Okay, so about two months in total. Yeah, yeah, you're right. What would be a rough cost of doing a, a donor egg and husband sperm surrogacy? Mm, uh, very roughly, it will be around forty-one and half thousand euro. Okay, thank you. Question from Carol: uh, What about cases where the couples have different nationality, for example, uh, American or British? How the mm -hmm. procedure looks like? Uh, so the main thing is uh, which uh, passport hold the father and according to the citizenship of the father, the citizenship of the child is stated. Okay, fantastic. Uh, is it possible to keep in touch with the surrogate mother after the birth? Mm, in case if she agrees, of course, why not? Uh, is it possible to pay extra for the NIPT 2-3 test? Uh, I'm not sure. I, I, I guess that it is uh, for the 23rd chromosome, but I'm not sure uh, what is the cost of it, but uh, I will need to clear that out with the lab and, of course, why not? Thank you. Uh, is it possible to, sa to send a sound samples to the surrogate mother during the pregnancy to let the baby hear some sounds from the intended parents, for example, voices or music? That's a very good question. Uh, yes, it's a very good question and this is the recommendation of our psychologist. So uh, it is a part of uh, the 
surrogates work to say so after week 18 because uh, our our psychologists say that after week 18 the child starts to recognize the sounds from the outer world so we are um, we are asking our parents to uh, send some uh, some recordings while they're uh, reading some fairy tales singing some songs and so on so that's a really good idea okay thank you Okay, we have another question about pricing. Uh, I think you mentioned that there are different packages, right? Yep, yeah, yeah. I will need to know the package. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe we can ask uh, Mills uh, if um, he or she wants to clarify the question, or um, we can ask Katarina if you can contact uh, the patient uh, for some detailed quote. Is that possible? Yep, yep, yep. sure. Okay, sure. How long does it take for the passport to be issued? Um, it also depends upon the uh, upon the country, really, because for the Irish patients, for example, uh, it is needed around uh, three weeks. Uh, for the American, um, it's around three to four weeks, depending on the DNA test. So it, it really depends upon the country. Okay, uh, Carol, maybe if you um, tell us where you're from, we, uh, Katarina can answer your question better. Yeah, definitely. Okay, again, a question about pricing, but uh, more specific, a surrogate mother with donor egg and partner sperm. Yeah, thanks a lot. Uh, so it is 41 and a half thousand euro. Uh, what's the average financial compensation for the surrogate mothers in addition to the basic costs during the process? Uh, finally, the surrogates receive uh, 12,000. So it is from, uh, from 41 and a half, it's around one fourth, 25%. Uh, could you work with surrogates in Kosovo? Uh, I know it isn't close, but is that logistically and legally possible? Uh, we cannot work with surrogates, uh, the citizen of other countries. So it's only up to Ukrainian citizen. Okay. Uh, if we provide frozen embryos, do you accept uh, blastosis embryos five day five-day blastosis. Definitely, we will accept them. Thank you. Um, what or who uh, attests the parent-child link? Is it a court judgment or something simpler? Uh, it will depend upon the requirements of the embassy, but uh, normally it is a DNA test. Okay, thank you. Uh, what does the matching process between the intended parents and the surrogate mother, uh, who does, sorry, the matching process mm -hmm. between the intended parents and the surrogate mother? Uh, the clinic, a specialized agency, um, what can the intended parents choose in this matching process? So normally uh, the workers, the coordinators of the surrogacy department of Intersona Clinic are offering uh, the profiles of the surrogate mothers and the intended parents can choose whether they would like to work with this woman or not. If not, then the uh, coordinators are offering other profiles. Thank you. Question from Ilona. Uh, is it possible to have treatment and have a baby as a single mother? Uh, I mean, I need to have a donor egg and sperm. In this case, uh, there will be no possibility to do a surrogacy program, but uh, you, according to your medical condition, of course, there will be a possibility to uh, transfer this embryo to your uh, body. Thank you. Is it possible that the intended parents are the very first 
people to touch the baby right upon birth? This is another very good question. Uh, yes, it can be arranged, of course. How long would it take to have a German passport issued for a baby? Uh, as the legal process of Germany, it takes between two and three weeks. Thank you. Um, do the surrogate mothers speak English? Not generally some of them, but yes, they can speak English. How much is the program uh, if we provide frozen embryo? Uh, it's 37 and a half thousand euro. Thank you. And one more question we have from Lisa. Uh, is there any other place um, where donor eggs can come from beside your clinics? For example, at the Ukrainian clinic? other countries including the US yes sure if you, if you have an egg donor that you would like to order from some other agency or uh, from other country no problem okay thank you I think we have one more question Somebody is typing a question. Let's wait a moment. Yeah, and I see a question yes, from question Gregor. Shipping, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, regarding the embryo shipment, do you work with any courier company? Uh, yes, uh, we are working with the uh, couriers uh, of our own company. Uh, it's our own courier department, but of course you are free to use any of any of, of them in the market. In fact, uh, we have had a, a webinar about cryo shipping. Uh, if you are interested, we are going to run a second edition of this webinar. You will find the information on our website. Next question. Uh, do you have uh, a refund program? Not sure the meaning of it, so I will need some clarification about that. Okay, Lilia, can you please specify what you meant? And let's move on to next question. Regarding previous question about egg donors from another country, uh, does that other country need to create the embryos or does the donor need to travel to your clinic? Mm. If thinking logistically, it is uh, it will be cheaper, it will be more affordable to create embryos and then uh, ship them to the clinic than to pay the donor to, to travel to our clinic. Okay, thank you. Uh, what are the guarantees. Are there any guarantees? Uh, in case if you choose the guarantee program, we are uh, giving you 100% of guarantee that no matter how many tries you will need, uh, you will have the baby. You will have the healthy baby. Thank you. If you chose to have the embryos PGD tested, uh, can these be frozen embryos? Uh, if you mean uh, performing PGD on frozen embryos, uh, it is not recommended by our doctors because, you know, uh, they need to be uh, defrozen, uh, taken biopsy for the test and then uh, frozen again in order to wait for the PGD results because it takes around two weeks in order to get the results. So double thawing and freezing is not very good. It's better to do on the fresh ones. Okay, thank you. So what is the price for the guarantee program? Uh, it is 53,500 euro. Thank you. 
Uh, on average, how many times do the intended parents need to travel to Lvov? One time to start, one or two times during the pregnancy, and one time at the end of pregnancy, is that correct? Uh, basically, you are right. Uh, so there are three mandatory uh, times that we will need to see you. More of them, they're up to you. So one is for signing the document. One is for the IVF cycle, where either the mother gives her um, oocytes or the father needs to provide a semen sample. And one time uh, before the end of the pregnancy. What is more, you can come anytime, it, it will be up to you. Okay, thank you. Uh, again, question from Lisa regarding the, her previous question. Uh, so donor eggs from other countries uh, can be frozen, of course, they will be shipped. Uh, so yeah. the donor would, wouldn't have to travel, is that correct? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Everything can be organized by cryo shipping, uh, so the donor does not travel. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. So there's clarification from Konak. Um, mm -hmm. Can any unused PGG tested embryos be frozen? That's the correct yes. question. Yes, sure, they will be frozen. In case they won't be used uh, in the program, uh, then they will be just stored until you decide to use them, ship them to some other clinic or just, uh, just eliminate them. Thank you. Is it possible to organize Skype meetings with the surrogate mother during the whole process during the pregnancy? Yes, this is our general practice. Thank you. Uh, from Lisa, uh, what's the most trusted cryo shipping uh, companies that you know? Uh, well, I can say that we mostly trust to our courier department. Okay. A few people are typing the questions. Uh, let's wait yeah. a few seconds. We'll wait. I think as long as we have questions, uh, we can, uh, you can answer them for another, let's say, 10-15 uh, minutes and then we will be slowly finishing. Uh, yeah. Okay, we have another one. Uh, what kind of personal information uh, is available uh, in each surrogate mother profile? Um, okay, let me let me count uh, the name, the age, uh, the region of uh, residence, the marital status, the information about the husband, the information about her uh, hobbies, uh, the information about her uh, medical file, basically uh, the um, her delivery history, uh, her gynecology history. Um, the reasons why she decided to become a surrogate and uh, the photos, of course, uh, the um, list of the people who support her in the program, um, also information whether she agrees uh, for the two embryos to be transferred or only one. So this, this is it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Can I ask, uh, you mentioned uh, the list of people who support her in the program. Uh, what do you mean? Her family, uh, uh, friends? Yeah, so uh, it should it should be uh, a, a couple of people uh, to whom she will be able to, um, to, to speak about it openly, to share her feelings apart from the coordinator and the psychologist. So someone from her close people. It can be a husband, sister, mother, not not children, of course, because they're underage, but so, some some close person. Thank you. Just to clarify, a uh, cost for a donor egg and partner sperm uh, is uh, 4,100 euros or 41,000 euros. 
if we are speaking of surrogacy program with the use of donor egg and uh, partner semen uh, it will be 41,000 euros thank you uh, is there an age limit for the intended parents according to the order of the Ministry of Health we have no age limit fantastic We have a few more questions. Mm -hmm. uh, what test is needed by my husband uh, if going for donor uh, egg donor surrogacy program? Can it be done in country of residence? Uh, we will need the semen analysis test and also the DNA fragmentation of the semen. Uh, in order to understand the chances of the program and before fertilization your husband will need to uh, do the test for critical infections it is uh, HIV, syphilis, hepatitis B and C and of course they can be done any, anywhere where it is comfortable for you okay so I understand the test can be done at your clinic or perhaps at any different clinic yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Where, where it is and most comfortable and of course the sample has to be shipped um, to Ukraine um, in case if we are using the semen uh, yes um, then then it will be either frozen one or uh, it will be the fresh uh, fresh sample when the patient comes to the clinic oh fantastic okay uh, next question. Uh, you said the oldest child born from surrogacy so far today is 11. Is it possible to know in, in which country does uh, he or she live? Uh, yes, it is Australia. Uh, one more question. What if the surrogate mother never gets pregnant? then she, she basically she has uh, a number of tries uh, defined by the doctor uh, how, how many times she can try uh, to, to, to in the program in case if she never gets pregnant then she cannot proceed in the program question from Suzanne uh, what is the cost for a donor egg and partner sperm uh, program without surrogacy uh, so I think Suzanne means uh, IVF uh, program. Mm, just IVF program. I will write it down, the, the uh, question. I will be able to answer it because I work only in surrogacy. So I'm, I'm not really familiar with the prices of IVF department. But uh, for sure I will uh, write it down and I will ask my colleagues from IVF department to answer it. Thank you. Okay, Suzanne, uh, Katerina will contact you by email uh, if you don't mind. Um, what's the cost for surrogacy using frozen embryos that are shipped from another country? So the cost of it will be 37 and a half um, thousand euro for uh, the program and also the cost of shipment. It will depend upon the country. Thank you. Let's wait for more questions. Sure. Yes, Gregory is typing a question. Uh, yes. During the whole program, uh, is it the same person from in persona uh, who we communicate with? The coordinator? Uh, yes, it will be your personal coordinator. She will be with you since the starting and up to your going home. Okay, thank you. Do we have any more questions? Uh, if you want to ask a question, you can do it now. Lisa is typing.
do we have reviews uh, of your program online? Do you have reviews? Sorry. Uh, I guess there are some online on our website uh, in the um, in in the section of reviews. There some of them they're about IVF treatment and some of them they're about surrogacy treatment. Yes, you can also check uh, Intersonal Clinic Profile on agdonationfriends.com. Uh, there are some patients' reviews there as well. Of course, some of them uh, refer to IVF, some of them refer to surrogacy. Mm -hmm. Next question, please. Uh, do you provide information about specialized lawyers in the country of the intended parents? For example, France in our case. Uh, yes, we will be able to uh, give the contacts of the lawyer who is dealing with the French citizen uh, for the surrogacy. Thank you. Okay, it looks like uh, these are all the questions for now. Um, I think Lisa has one, one more question. Uh, comment from Lisa. Thank you for all the information. It seems like uh, it's a great option for people that cannot find surrogates in their countries. Thank yeah. you, Lisa. Thank you, Lisa. Comment. Yes. Okay, I think uh, these are all the questions for today. Uh, if you are interested in surrogacy program uh, uh, at Intersono in Ukraine, uh, you are invited to have a look at the clinic's profile and contact the clinic directly. Um, thank you very much for questions. Thank you for being with us. Uh, Katerina, thank you very much for uh, the presentation and uh, uh, answering uh, all the questions. Yeah, thanks a lot for joining. Thanks a lot for good organization. And um, I hope we will be in contact if anyone is interested. Fantastic. Um, just wanted to remind everyone that uh, uh, the webinar recording will soon appear on our YouTube channel and the website and you will be able to uh, read the answers uh, on our website uh, in the article. Um, thank you very much and have a good night. Thank you. Good night. Thank